conference on leukocytes. Leukocytes are white blood cells uh, in the body. Now remember the diagnostic value of blood. You can tell information from the blood uh, evaluation. Identify the nature of the disease. Determine if the cells are present, for example. You can follow the course of the disease and evaluate the treatment. Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Different things you can learn from the blood. Now there are different types of leukocytes. You have the granular leukocytes, which are the neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils, and the non-granular ones, the lymphocytes and the monocytes. But today we're going to work with just the neutrophils. And neutrophils have two types of granules. They have azeophilic granules, which are just basically primary lysosomes, acid phosphatase, but they also have specific granules, which have the basic protein in there, which uh, allows you to have antibacterial action of the neutrophils, and that's why neutrophils are the ones that attack whenever you have an infection. Now, immature neutrophils, when they come out, if they come out as immature ones, they are band cells, which is a basic step just before the immature ones release. But if there's an infection, you need more neutrophils, band cells will be released. They increase their phagocytosis by having uh, items opsonized. In other words, antibodies uh, attached to them will facilitate uh, the bacteria being eaten uh, by the neutrophils. Also, the neutrophils have basic cellular functions, random motility. They move in every different direction. They're uh, produced in a bone marrow. They have to move out, so they have to randomize to move out. Chemotaxis, where they go towards a chemical uh, concentration stimulus. Uh, phagocytosis, where they uh, engulf uh, foods to uh, or material so that it can be uh, fused with primary lysosomes uh, and to be degraded and also it kills bacteria and so in our uh, conference today we need to come up with a way to measure the basic cellular functions like random motility how do you measure movement chemotaxis how do you measure attraction and movement, directed movement? How do you do that? Phagocytosis, measure uh, intake of cells, how does it occur? And the killing of bacteria, how do you measure killing? So in ter terms of our consideration, uh, how could one determine if white blood cell count is correct? Are cells being produced in, in blood or not? How can one develop an assay for each of the basic functions? Movement is one. How would you measure the movement of clouds? How do you know if clouds are moving, for example? You can use the same thing in a microscope uh, to try to measure movement of cells. Directed movement toward a high concentration of a chemical. How could you do that? And how could you do that with maybe use of different chambers? Uh, put cells in one and stimulus in another and see if it goes to that direction. Internalization of bacteria, bacteria inside cells, not just attached to the surface. Those are just attached to the surface. Trypsin might be able to remove, but trypsin can't remove those that are internalized in a cell. How could you tell? And how could you tell if the bacteria were just eaten or actually killed? Dead cells do not duplicate and divide. So uh, you have to come up with a system to measure the capability of these products uh, to yield bacterial growth. So we return to the diagnostic value of examining blood. What does variation from these expected values tell you about the production or uh, the disease state uh, of the individual? Okay, thank you.